Welcome back, everybody. The sun is back out. We're going to get some whole chickens on the smoker. We're going to spatchcock them, rub them up, and get them going. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to start out with two, about four pound chickens that we've spatchcocked. If you're not sure how to spatchcock a chicken, up in that right hand corner, there's a link to the video of how to spatchcock them. Uh, you're welcome to click up there or check in the description at the bottom. Uh, there's a link to that video. So we're gonna make sure these chickens are very, very dry. The key to crispy chicken skin is having very dry skin and then introducing oil back to it. So we're gonna pat these dry on both sides and then we're gonna rub them down with, on the inside I'm using meat church holy voodoo rub it's going to give it a little bit of a kick and then on the outside we're going to use the uh, meat church gospel it's an all-purpose rub gives it a little bit of the color and it has some bigger spices in it which gives it a better bark so now that we got it dry we're going to get our rubs Get them shaken up real good, get them mixed up. We're gonna use the holy voodoo on the inside of the chicken, or I, I guess the bottom side of the spatchcock chicken. We're gonna put it on very liberally. It'll give it a little bit of bite. It's got a little bit more of the probably cayenne or, or some sort of a pepper in it that makes it a little bit more spicy. And then we'll flip it over and dry it one more time. Again, remember, a dry chicken skin is a better chicken skin so you can't dry it enough before you put introduce the uh, fat back to it and put the rub on so we'll dry it one more time and then we'll rub it down liberally with the gospel meat church barbecue rub we are going to introduce fat back so we got spray canola oil here that we're going to spray on that skin to make sure that it's crispy and bite through also helps to bind the the rub to the skin so we'll take our meat church gospel rub and we'll spread it liberally on the skin. Uh, in my opinion, there's never you can never put too much of this on there. Uh, it's going to give you a great flavor and it's going to give you great color. It also helps as a as a kind of a dryer it has the salt content uh, pulls the moisture out of that skin and allows it to dry up and get crispy. Once you get a good coat of rub on there, just pat it in and uh, it'll be ready to go. So we're going to finish this one up right quick, get the other one done the exact same way, and we'll see you guys out at the smoker. All right, we got the pit at 275. We're going to throw these spatchcock birds on the smoker. We're going to do them at 275, probably for about an hour and a half, and then we'll go up to about 300 to crisp up the skin, 300, 325 uh, to finish it off. Looking for a Target in the breast of about 165 and in dark meat, maybe 175 or so. Get these loaded on. Cooking day with some pecan wood. Get these off. If you got these on a holy tray, lets the smoke get through, lets it penetrate. Uh, these will be good. So we'll close these up. We'll probably won't even come look at them for about another hour. We'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we've had these birds on for about an hour. We're going to dig in and check them out. Let's get in here and look at these things. Oh, got some good smoke coming from the pecan wood. Colors looking great. Zoom you in here and let you look at that. Oh yeah, that color is looking great. So we're gonna put our probes in, then we're gonna put them back on until they get done. We'll stick these probes in the breast, and then we'll get them back on until they're done here. Look at this other one. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Running a fireboard system with the fan, man, it sure makes managing the pit temp, pit temp a whole lot better. All right. 
we'll get back into them when they get ready for temp. All right, see you all in a minute. All right, we've been running for about two hours and it looks like the internal temperature on our fireboard tells us that we're about ready. Gonna probe it with a hand thermometer and, and make sure everything is good and uh, get these things taken off. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that skin's crisped up. We're on about a four pound bird, so not too big. We'll check the probe temperatures here and see if we're about right. Yes, sir. And we are done. All right, we got the birds done. Now we're gonna get them cut up here. Look at that crispy skin right here. Let's check this thing out. Look at that. Still moist. Looks great. Get this back cut off. Oh yeah, see the juices dripping out? Man, that looks great. Just what we were looking for. Get the rest of this cut up. Give me a bite of this right quick. If I can get the pan loose. Oh man, that's some good chicken. All right guys, we'll see y'all in the next one.